Hello, welcome back to another daily. Looks like an Isaac run. The last time we did an Isaac run, we found. Oh, what is this? No, it's an Eden run? What the heck is this? <laughs> no idea what's happening. Uh, let's take it. The untainted gain power. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if I'm quite honest with you, I don't know what character we're playing. I don't know. Oh, it looks like Isaac when we do a thing, so. Someone's going to have to explain this to me. Now, the untainted game power. I think this means if you haven't yet been hit, you take. you do more damage? I don't know. You have yet to be hit, so who knows? <laughs> Let's um, use Game Kid here. We started with it, so we might as well use it to the best of our ability. Um, <laughs> so I have no idea what's going on here, so bear with me. Uh, Torn Photo is great. And we're going to. Isaac. Try and remember on our next vignette to uh, have a look at <laughs> at the uh, the versus screen to see who it says because if it's it'll say Isaac versus boss name so that's what we're looking for just to confirm that we're playing Isaac I'm really confused I'm enjoying the damage upgrade from the uh, from the crown that we've got here and another reasonably decent upgrade from Odd Mushroom it's a damage downgrade but the fire rate makes up for it. Going as far as Isaac has noted, so Bus Rush and Hush are things we need to do. I think this is looking like it's going to be a reasonably powerful run. I don't understand why we look like what we look like. Um, <laughs> maybe something's happened. Maybe I should have read the update notes. Maybe we should just not walk through fire. If you don't take damage on a room, it looks like, then you get that square tier bonus thingy. I think I knew that. That's okay, though. We'll press that, we'll shoot this. Let's see if we can do maybe another... Mm, we can't do another room. I'd like to in order to get our game kit charged, but this is such a short floor, we can't do it. Okay, Little Horn. Not going to last long, I think. Little Horn is not a tremendously difficult boss. More of an annoying boss than a difficult boss. Any boss that teleports is annoying in my book. Yesterday's Blue Baby run was not my favourite. I tend to not do well as a Blue Baby. Uh, this is reasonably well known because oh fair enough uh, because it's a, a character that requires a good amount of I suppose technical skill you know uh, moving around type skill not getting hit type skill which you know you have good days and bad days for that and yesterday was not a good day I've just done uh, about wow well, <laughs> um, I've just done a uh, greed mode as Blue Baby, because every time I do badly on a um, uh, uh, daily run, I think, you know what, we'll practice with that character by using the opportunity of Greed Mode to have a look. Ah, that's really good. Glad you came in here. Probably worth more than the damage penalty costs us. Uh, I took several attempts to even get as far as Ultra Greed and then still didn't succeed having done so. So... Yeah, I'm going to call Blue Baby probably one of my least competent character. Not Blue Baby's not an incompetent character. I'm incompetent with the Blue Baby character. So uh, expect that in future. But practice makes perfect. It is possible to get a decent Blue Baby run, obviously, because I went all the way to Ultra Greed. Ooh, nine lives. Should we take this? I think we should take it because a guppy transformation on this run will probably be what everyone else is getting if there is one, so we need to give ourselves the best possible opportunity to get it. Because um, it's going to it massively increase our speed as a result of the tremendous amount of damage we'll be doing because of all the flies we'll be generating, which is how Guppy works. We all know how Guppy works. That was... Uh, should have probably got hit there. Going to assume that some awesome stuff happened that prevented it. Uh, this this very first... This crown, I'm forgetting what it's called. Forgetting? That's real England. I've forgotten what it's called, but it was good. Uh, blue candle. I'm going to say no. Uh, not probably a controversial decision. I expect many people would have taken blue candle in this situation, but we're so powerful. I find that blue candle is only something that really, really helps me at least. Not, not one, but me. If our damage is so poor that I'm looking to do something else, uh, and normally trying to do something besides use tears goes wrong. 
um, if our tears are such poor damage that I want something like a spacebar item to help us out with it, wow, careful, then I'm going to concentrate solely on the spacebar item and not use tears, to the less greater or lesser extent. If I'm not in such a position that our tears are a problem, I don't want to take a spacebar item that I don't have to concentrate on to figure out how to use. Did get a deal with the devil despite the Krampus fight, uh, which is excellent because we're going to take this and we're not going to fuck it up like we did with Blue Baby. Excellent. Now we have no red HP and we're so fast, five minutes and we've already done Caves 1. We should go and see if we can get some extra points for doing maybe this room. Yes, we probably can. Oh, and the golden key means we might as well explore a lot more. See if we can open some doors uh, or chests. Larry Senior here, not going to cause us a problem. And then three of the pin things. Four of them. Four. Four's a number like three, but not six. Good. Lump of coal, of course, really helping us out by letting us keep our distance. I've noticed we've got the cartridge as well, which we've had before, didn't actually do anything. Uh, it's got a very low random chance to proc. Oh, I did get hit twice there. I should probably stop charging into every room that I see. We've been suitably chastised for our gung-ho attitude. Um, it will randomly proc and just give you um, invincibility, I think, either when you kill something or when you take damage. Can't honestly remember if I'm being honest, which I am, because I said honestly, and anyone who says honestly is being honest. We could have got into our curse room without paying for it, but never mind. We should open that and explode this. Do we want Pulse Worm? We'll take Pulse Worm. Who cares about the cartridge? Not I. We're very fast. Pulse Worm is a funny effect. We've got a Temperance card if we want to... Well, we might as well look in here, hey? Mm, another coin, another day. That's fine. Temperance card in case we get enough red HP that we then find that we want to go down and lose more HP. But it's not going to help us in any other respects, such as um, often you would keep it until maybe the chest to try and get another item, but it's not going to be a problem, I think. Well, it's not going to be an opportunity, and it's not a matter of I think. It's absolutely true. We're not going to the chest. Whew. Well, we're very fast. Um, I've not had much time to say anything, but it's a good thing because I've got, not got much to say. Um runs like an Isaac run, which is odd, because obviously we're not Isaac, because Isaac would start with D6. We seem to be some sort of special uh, special character, I don't know what for. We shall see if there's a secret room. There probably isn't, because this is a boss trap room. We'll open it, let's see if we can get a guppy transformation out of this. We didn't, and I'm probably not going to take um, the, the Curse of the Tower today. And the reason for that is that Curse of the Tower, well, there's two reasons for that. First of all, any item that is predicated on you taking damage is automatically lower priority than any other item. And uh, Curse of the Tower, it's only really does anything if you take damage. That's what it does. Uh, we should probably use this here. Try and nominate him. Secondly, it does, um, it makes bombs. Live bombs. Uh, and we don't have any bomb synergies, and we don't have any... Ah, the Athene. We don't have anything like... Um... What do you call it? Um... Pyromaniac, I'm thinking of. So, having all those live bombs on the room at once, by our own doing, is probably a terrible idea, if I'm being honest. So, we're going to try and avoid as much damage as we can, which we've done pretty well so far. There's not been many rooms where I've taken any damage at all, as you can tell, because my tears don't often go circular. A couple of rooms have taken some very silly damage, and had it been a lost run, we would have died already, but that's okay. We should go in here, just in case. Oh, it's Greed. That's probably really good, actually. Oh, I nearly caught that bullet. Luckily, I didn't. Four bombs. Four bombs is enough bombs. Probably can't reach that chest, so I'm not going to go back and have a look. We found a boss again! Well, we should do the boss with our, um, our charge on on our spacebar item here. It's done as well so far. So why not, eh? Gerby. 
when this wears off, of course, will stop. We did some damage to Gurdy, it's not my favourite amount of damage. And I've been... Historically, on these dailies at least, I've been really silly with Gurdy fights and completely failed to do the most simple of dodges. We did okay here. We got toothpicks, which is really good. Uh, counterfeit penny? Uh, why not? Huh? Counterfeit penny just picks up another coin every so often. When you pick up a coin, you have a chance to get a second coin. It's as simple as that. Uh, I didn't mean to go back into there, but by the time I'd realised I'd left, I was sort of pressing down at the time. Yeah, we got two coins out of that. So, still really, really fast. Still going to go somewhere else. Let's see what these rooms have got to offer. Just some more points, really, for killing all the baddies. Kill, which is health up, which is fine at the moment, because anything that would require us to have low health still counts. Um, we can get both into boss trap and mob trap rooms at this point. Point. Although, I seem to have circular tears. Ah, because I don't have full red HP, so that must be the thing that that's predicated on. And of course, we should have actually gone in here before. So I'll take Mini Mush. Let's take Mini Mush. Speed and range up is nice. We're very fast already, but who who says no to too much speed, eh? Oh, we're sensible people, I suppose. If too much speed is... Too much of anything is a bad thing. Kind of encoded in the way you say it. Too much is, by default, too much. If it was a good thing, it wouldn't be too too much. That's a rune bag. A rune bag drops runes every few, few floors, which is going to be pretty good. So let's uh, pop these guys open, see what we've got. A couple of coins. Ooh, nearly. May or may not make up for his RHP, so we should have square tears again. Yeah. The two coins probably didn't make up for the bombs we spent, but we also got rune bag, and the runes could be good for us. Uh, we've got counterfeit penny. We don't really want pulse worm. It's fun, uh, but it doesn't actually increase your damage. It only increases the size of your tiers. So the benefit you get out of pulse worm is bigger hitbox on your tiers, which honestly, it's useful. Don't get me wrong. It's not a terrible item. I took it over the cartridge after all, but it's not. You know, it's not a game breaker. Um, whereas having these extra few coins, also not a game breaker, but certainly more valuable on a daily run because we're in it for the points. Yera, let's blow this up and then see if we can get something good out of Yera. Not really. We'll keep Yera until we find a decent place to use it. Absolutely. Um, do I? Mm, it's an interesting item, the short cutter. It's not as useful, I think. It's going to cost us points to take it, so I don't... That sort of puts me off... Oh, that was very handy. He killed himself. Puts me off to begin with. The treasure map just tells us where to go. So... We should do these other dead ends first. Shot cutter is a cool item. It can save you some time. Um, shot cutter? Short cutter. Can save you some time. But ultimately, not really worthwhile. We've got a Bacano rune, which we can use straight away. Um, this run is going fine. <laughs> What's to say? You know, it's a really, really accomplished run right now. Everything is dying really, really fast. The Picano run has already worn itself out, but we'll go in here. We've got one bomb. We should open two of them to see if we can get way more bombs, which is what I was going to say. Um, I was going to say a couple more bombs, but way more bombs also works. If you kill these... Okay, so the way the Athame works, if you kill an enemy with the... <laughs> um, with the circle, it has a chance to drop a black card. So I'm not sweating the damage. Although it seems to me that both of the things we decided about this um, this item we were thinking about were correct. Both, you have to take no damage on the room, and you have to be at full red HP. So we're hoping to get a deal with the devil at the end of this floor. And that deal with the devil, if it has any items in it at all, will cost us red HP. And the red HP, which we then will not have any more of, will allow us to get the best out of our shiny square tier thingies. So we get shiny square tiers as long as we have full red HP, and we keep them as long as we haven't taken any damage on the room. I think this bomb was worth it, in case you were wondering. Eh, maybe it wasn't. The Hanged Man. Don't let me forget the Yarrow rune, but I think the Hanged Man might be able to get us something. Just some extra, you know, 
couple of points from a chest or similar. Maybe it'll help us against the boss. If it's a creep boss. But we have to remember... There you go. We'll take that. It gives us a spirit heart. I'm not going to keep it, so there's no point holding on to it. See what I mean? So it looks like the boss was actually in that room I didn't want to deal with. This is fine. We'll use the hangman here. This is annoying. Broth has no chance, but, you know, flitting around the place... Just that little bit easier. Let's go in here. We've got so much time, we should do all the rooms. Just for the points. The difference in this run is going to be in how many rooms you do and how many pickups you pick up. How many pickups you pick up. Uh, rather than anything else. There's our yarrow room. So we do have to go this way, and I think I. Yeah, I could have got that chest, you see. Ah, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Was there anything in here we wanted? Not really. We've got plenty of everything. We just want to spend a couple of seconds staring at the, the shop, I guess, wasting points like that. These things uh, are a thorn in my side, often. If we can get them both, that's tremendous. Gish. Gish is not, uh, excuse me. Uh, he's got creep, but it's not the sort of creepy enemy that I was worried about when I had the hangman card, so. I have a history of just stepping on creep, irrespective, you know. It's all Blase attitude towards creep. Mostly because I assume that when the enemies die, the creep's gone away. So I can pay attention to creep while I'm expecting it, but as soon as the enemy's dead, you know, that's it. Creeps, all creeps are off. Nope, not true. So I tend to step on it, is what I'm saying here. We are at 15 minutes and we've just done the end of Dex 1. We have got a Dagar's rune. Here's what I'm going to do I'm gonna use yeah, the Yarrow rune and take a Dagar's rune here, get another spirit heart. I'm going to go down to the next floor with this one. We didn't get a deal with the devil, which is surprising. Mildly surprising. But we should have a complete, absolute chance to get one here. 100%, I think. Uh, unless we somehow take red heart damage. That was rubbish. Never mind. Worth the price of one spirit heart entry, I think. Oh, help. I've never seen this room before. This must be a slightly more advanced version of the fight. This rune is not runer. This room is not so bad. But these rooms where you have... Um, help. Lame. Should have just run away, but you know how it is. These rooms where the entire floor is covered with um, holes. Fuck. <laughs> Can't deal with that. I'm not here for that. So much time, we should do everything, frankly. The Dagar's rune, I'm going to keep hold of. Um, we don't need a huge amount of HP right now. Uh, basically, the, the HP that we get from it is not a priority. What is a priority is getting rid of a curse that's going to slow us down on another room. Like, uh, Curse of the Lost is what I'm expecting, to be honest. Hagalars. Anything worth hagalazing? Not really. Just use it. What's this? Helges. Hmm. We we'll remember it's here, but we do have um, our um, our game kid thing, so I don't think Algis is going to be hugely valuable for us. Obviously, we're going to keep Dagars until we find a, a use for it, and here's probably a reroll room just to screw everybody up. So what's in here? Red candle. We don't want the red candle. We'll spend the two keys to have a look here. Is a reroll. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> well, we never shy away from these, so we'll take this. Although I think the six rerolls all the item pedestals as well. In that case, the six rerolls item pedestals, right? So we're going to do everything up to the mom fight. In case we find a sort of a, a Bob's brain or something in the chest, get as many item pedestals on the ground as you can, then reroll them. If it doesn't re-roll them, then all, all is fair, you know. Not going to make a difference. Ooh, see what I was saying about creep? I can't know again. But, uh, if we can... If we can maximise our D6 opportunity... Then we shall. I can't imagine that this run is not entirely done on purpose. I just picked up BFFs. I'm almost tempted not to re-roll it. Now that we have BFFs, 
Well, BFFs actually doesn't apply to our flyers. We really want high players, so... Well, I'll tell you what. We're not here to, you know... <laughs> we are competitive, sometimes. And this is such a good run that we could come literally anywhere. There's no way of gauging how well we're doing compared to everybody else. Uh, I, I think everyone would agree with me in saying so. So what I'm going to do... We didn't get any more item pedestals. He was. Let's put this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll it on the principle that since we're not here to compete, because we just don't know how well everyone's going to do, we're going to be here to go mental and have fun. We are fun guy. What did we get? We've still got that effect. We're very slow. We have a sun card. Bob's brain. <laughs> Great. Uh, we might as well take this. We don't have one. Bob's brain is probably going to kill us. We've got nine lives. We have a fun guy transformation, which I'm not sure what it is. And we have Nordleaf, Pyromaniac, God's, God's whatever tears, Sagittarius. This is a decent reroll. I, I cannot lie. We will save the sun card for our... Ooh, careful. Oh, Pyromaniac means we can't get hurt by mom stomping. That's perfect. Because I often do. And I don't like it. Uh... We have... Oh, we can't... We've got 31 bombs, so if we do start taking damage, who cares, right? We've got 4 red HP, so our bombs can heal us 4 red HPs with of damage. It's only 4 bombs. We are going to the Isaac fight, but we want... We might as well take permanent Polaroid invincibility. We get the goat head and flight. Well, this is going to screw up what I was saying about red HP and bombs healing us, but we do still have the Book of Shadows, which is going to recharge three, every three, um, we'll take, uh, take this. It's going to restart, recharge every three waves on boss rush. Every two waves, actually, now I think about it. <laughs> it shrank the head. That was funny. Wow. This is a really powerful run for saying we're so slow. And I'm wondering whether Lemon Mishap might actually be a better boss rush, or even a hush uh, item than... Oh, maybe not hush, because you don't, you don't recharge it on hush. So we should probably take the Book of Shadows down. Mm. Now I'm double-guessing myself a lot. Wow. Those, um, by the way, also count as explosive damage, so they don't hurt. That does hurt. Can you stop doing that, please? Also, I've noticed that Lemon Mishap did not recharge just now. So, maybe I'm just wrong. <laughs> it's never going to recharge. We should take Book of Shadows then, because I'm scared. Just in case we feel like we're going to die horribly. We have taken some silly damage right here, because I got slightly overwhelmed by the amount of shit that was on the room at the time. But and We're not doing a tremendous amount of damage, but we can hit several enemies at once, so we've got good crowd control. We're very slow, so we can't necessarily get out of the way of things like... Uh, well, gurglings, but we're also not doing knockback, so we can sort of kite the gurglings like this. We can shoot this son of a bitch like out. Now I'm wondering whether I should have picked up because the tower, but then I suppose we would have re rolled it, so maybe we got it right the first time. These things are dropping troll bombs behind them, which is fine with me because they can't hurt me. But we have no <laughs> red HP left, so. All in all, I don't know whether I did the right thing here or not. Maybe we should just use this. Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Everything die. Die, die, die. Good, good, good. This will last so long. Uh, maybe it won't last so long. We have the sun card. We unrolled... We rolled out of our... Um, our rune bag, I think. Oh, this, this recharged, so that's okay. Maybe we should have saved it for this. <laughs> oh, God. Help. Uh, I'm incapable of dealing with this. Dark one is a very difficult enemy to to avoid damage from because it can do this brimstone attack every so often. But when there's two cage rolling around the place, standing on the spikes, obviously I'm, I'm you know I appreciate its own attempt to make my life easier here. That's the brimstone attack. You have to keep moving to avoid. It's just no there's no alternative. We managed to you won't believe me, but it was intentional. When I saw that the gate was about to, you know, roll, I stood over the spikes. 
on the theory, well, that uh, if the gate rolled, it would roll towards me and therefore hit spikes. It worked. I actually am honestly genuinely impressed with myself for having done so. This has taken ages because you can't trust this thing not to fire on you. It's like a go up. Ooh, you can make a deal with it, but it'll still hit you. You fired backwards. Tyrone. What is this? Bug report. I have another bug report, Tyrone. Wow, that took ages. Your, uh... Your, uh... Your greed mode. The battery doesn't work. The charge storing battery. You can't store a charge. It doesn't recharge after more than one extra blip. I don't know if it's greed mode or just in general, but it doesn't work. Hello, what are you doing over here? You just explode, pop it. Wow, what happened there? <laughs> I don't know why it turned around in that respect. Oh, hello. Where did that one come from? Good question. I'm not going to use the Book of Shadows here. I was tempted to just to get it over with. It's not like we have an orbital. If we have an orbital, then the Book of Shadows would be a much more valuable play. Um, but we don't, <laughs> so it's not that much of a valuable play. It looks like we can't shrink bosses, unfortunately. We I could just squish them. I can Duke Nukem. I guess that was one of the cool things about Duke Nukem. Maybe that's where the uh, inspiration for this came from. Is this a frail fight? Maybe. Yeah. In that case, we'll use this because the frail's a douche and I hate it. Uh, I would like to just be invincible for when inevitably tries to brimstone me, but that's fallen by the wayside because we've gone and uh, we've gone and failed to actually have the Book of Shadows active whilst it was trying to brimstone me. So, oh, come on, help. <laughs> this may not have been the uh, best use of Book of Shadows because now we don't have it for this fight, which is going to be harder because there's an angel statue. And that happens, yes. Thank you for demonstrating, angel statue. It's, um... Wow. Wow. I got a little chatted. Is it going to happen again? No. Does this one even shoot horizontally? Well, apart from like that, I suppose. I'm mildly concerned by the fact that I don't know where little chad, well, full-size chad is. Uh, because it's important to know. Because it seems to go fast. All right, good. What else have we got? There's two things. Uh, that's a fast dip. It's okay. I think we should probably focus on... Let's focus on Gish. The reason being, Gish uh, jumps. Wow. We might not actually survive this. <laughs> we do have nine lives, but our damage is really poor, which is causing me great issue. It feels like we have good, good, good damage because our shots are big and we're doing several of them, but they, they're really not. Oh, we do have Spirit of the Night, mind you. Uh, which means we can hang out over rocks and be safe from that. Uh, that poop. Whoa. Watch out. Alright. Just just stay safe. Keep it real. Keep it steady. Go steady. Right, that's dead. Right, you can do the whistle thing. No. You can do the going fast thing. There we go. And then we'll shoot you. Nice try. Nice try. This is a bit scumming it up here, but we should take this. Um, we need to survive, <laughs> and we're not going to if we're not careful. We're very slow, which makes it difficult to get out of the way of these enemies, uh, and we're not as strong as it feels like we should be. So we really need to make the most of those spikes in the middle. We really need to make sure that we have... Um, the Book of Shadows available as much as possible when it's important, right now. <laughs> if we can get the Book of Shadows to help us with the haunt fight, that'd be super. I have no idea what's happened to Robo Baby, but we did kill. Please be the end. Oh, Jesus. Now what? Oh, death. Of course it's death. Let's get rid of death then, because that's going to be a lot more difficult than, um, than, than the, the, the Widow over here. So, death, please turn into your second stage. Oh, we got rid of the Widow anyway, sort of en passant, as it were. That's a chess term, so you're just... About all I know about chess is the term en passant. So, 
I'm trying not to be too impressed. You know, I'm not. Don't challenge me. <laughs> challenge me to a game of chess is because I know the term en passant. I know two things about chess: en passant and castling. Uh, which is basically, if you ever played me at chess, it's basically uh, like playing me at poker. I had two moves, and you could guarantee that I was going to try and do them. I'd never play chess reactively. I'd always sort of have a tactic that I was expecting to work for me. And shit, do you see that? It died just before it was too late. Now I'm tempted to, yeah, let's do this. Get in here with this. Book of Shadows, I'm probably going to use it as much as possible, frankly. Oh, of course, bombs don't matter. So that may have been a misplay. We can let Lo uh, War over here do as much damage as it wants with bombs. And if we take red heart damage, as long as we don't... Oh, Jesus. As long as we don't take a full heart damage, which, as you know, I think about it, it's quite likely. So we could die right now. Um, we'll be okay. Because there's a lot of red HP on the screen. Let's walk. There he is. And... Oh, we do have nine lives, so it's not like we're going to lose, but not being able to do Bossra successfully. We're going to have to get a lot stronger <laughs> in the next two floors, which is kind of the reason I took um, the goat head. Oh, there you are. Hello. Being able to take all these deals with the devil. Because every single one, even if it costs us red hearts, we're going to have nine lives to back us up. Where are you? Lemon mishap. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did pick it up by accident, you may have noticed. Stop not shooting! The only reason I picked that back up again is I want to recharge it in case this isn't the last wave. Which I'm worried about. This is taking forever. In fact, we can't do Hush because this has taken so damn long. We got in really early, but this is taking like a quarter of an hour. I've been talking for the last quarter of an hour about this bullshit. And this has got, um... Let's just leave Demon Baby, <laughs> Robo Baby to beat the shit out of the heart. Yeah, that'll work. The nice thing about um, the, the Mask of Infamy here is that it'll take damage against these spikes. So if we can convince it to walk on the spikes, that'd be splendid. No, 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 leave me alone. Yeah, we're really not doing enough damage. So it's <laughs> Maybe the reroll wasn't the best thing in the world. I'm fully prepared to admit that that was a mistake. But at the time, I said, what did I say? I said, there's a chance that this is going to go horribly wrong, and we should embrace it and play the game for the fun of the game, not for the rank that we're going to get. And I suspect I will rank among the re-rollers rather than among the non-re-rollers, which is a fine place to rank. Oh, Jesus, are we still going? I'm half tempted to just take the damage. If we uh, stay put here, then we can do as much damage as possible to these things that pop up on top of us. By hitting all three at once. There we go. And now we get out of the way. <laughs> so we can make... Um, Super so can make... Yeah, land on there. Didn't land on the spikes, douche. I'm trying to goad you into landing on the spikes. Ooh, careful. These eyes are the bane of my existence. Much like spiders. Spiders, eyes, and keepers. You know, the the circular head things that jump at you and cost money when they hit you? These three things are my least favourite things in the game. Oh, Robo Baby got a small opportunity to do a small amount of damage because Robo Baby is not really a very opportune thing. End. Oh, thank fuck for that. We got Mom's bra out of it, so, you know, I'm so pleased and happy that we've spent the time to do that. Well, that took ages. Down to the next floor. No hush for us. Honestly, I would have been very reluctant to try doing hush. Thanks. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I'm so glad I did that too. Uh, I'm very optimistic that we can find um, a tinted rock on this floor, because if we can't, we may be in trouble. Just take it slowly. We're not in a rush anymore. We've already missed the only opportunity we have to make more points. And we're going to just resign ourselves to lying in the bed we've made. We have we happen to have re-rolled into the ladder. <laughs> I didn't mention it at the time because it probably wasn't worth mentioning. It really is worth mentioning in my opinion. The ladder. 
Bombs? Well, bombs are health. So if we do get hit, we just bomb ourselves. In fact, that's going to be my... Yep. <laughs> that's going to be my game plan for a while. That could be a secret room. Should have another look. If we get hit... It is. Bomb ourselves. Nothing in there. Oh. Well. It's a secret. A cursed room there. If we can't bomb our way into it, because we know where the secret room is. How did you not die? Good question. We can, uh... Get in for free. But it'll be expensive to get out again. We can play this once, or not play it at all. Or use... Book of Shadows. We should use the Book of Shadows. Give me stuff. Stop paying. Ooh, yes, perfect. Uh... <laughs> I was trying to figure out if I could get out of there without spending one of my black hearts. Uh, the answer was no. But I gave it the good old college try, as, as they say. We do have... The goat head, so we don't just worry about red heart damage uh, in terms of deals with the devil. Now, we do have to worry about it in terms of dying, which is a problem for me. I don't want to die. We do have 32 bombs, that's 32 HP, but we have to try and keep still enough to pick it up. Uh, it's probably not going to be that way. And we also have the sun card, which will fully heal us when we use it. Do we have bloody lust or something? Our tears seem bigger and more damaging, more potent. We know. Oh, we have the compass then, because we know where the boss is. I guess the uh, counterfeit penny has helped in some small respect. Where are you? There you are. The fact that they disappear before you've even spotted where they are is just such a pain in the ass. My tear shots. Tear shots. My tear speed is so slow that by the time I've spotted them and shot at them. <laughs> They've disappeared. My tears can't get there in time. These are among the most annoying enemies in the game. They're not... They're not, like, difficult enemies. I find... In, in a bay of my existence sort of way. I find that... Uh, the, the enemies I mentioned before, you know, the Keepers and... and, and keepers, Peep's Eyes and those things. Those are difficult to deal with. Those nub thingies that pop up... They're just annoying to deal with, because they don't go away. It's like anything that pops up, like the equivalent of those that uh, that you have to shoot when they stick their head up. Ooh. So when should we use our sun card is a good question. Uh, question for the ages. I don't know. Um, <laughs> there are many opportunities to use a card like the sun. It will give us a map, which we re-rolled out of already, so... That's a full card. That's not going to help. Um, so, if we want to go fast, I suppose, but... Or if we're worried about our life and therefore need to... Oh yeah, Pyro Maniac. That hurt. It will also damage the room, so if you find that we're on a difficult room with lots of reasonably weak enemies, I suppose we could fire the sun card off to get rid of them. Ah, horse has gone, that's nice. Why am I not using Book of Shadows? Oh. Wouldn't you like to know, Sunshine? Alright, deal with the devil is... Keep it neat. Uh, sack Dag. Honestly? Oh, I was going to say I don't think any of these are worth it, but we have, um... Of course got. Oh, we should explore. We've got um, Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows is what I'm thinking of, which is important because if we have a strong orbital like Sack Dag and the Book of Shadows, then every few rooms we can do a lot of damage to a, a lot of things, which is helpful. You know, we pop Book of Shadows, run around the room a little bit, squash things with our Sack Dag. Where are you? Hello? Come out. Can Timmy come out to play? I'm also looking for Tinted Drops, as mentioned. We're losing on time. The, as noted, the re-roll play... Ooh, let's do that. Let's open those. 
Where's our full card gone? It's right down there. This is going to take time, but we could get some decent stuff out of those, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick up this full card. Oh, I can walk over those. That's okay. Which is over here. I'm going to come back here, open these chests. Now, I believe only opening the chests triggers the event, the boss event. Even though it's a mob trap room, it will be bosses on the room and be on the womb and beyond. So, opening the chests will trigger the event. But we have four keys, so we trigger them like this. Well, <laughs> and then we teleport out, and then when we come back, um, we can reclaim our prize without having to fight the bosses. How are we not... How are you not dead? That's my question here. We have two orbitals now. One of which is very strong and one of which is quite strong. Ooh, apple. Let's get rid of these first because they're extremely irritating. We have Abel. How long have we had Abel? So not worth having. Didn't even mention it. How about that? Now we have infinite bombs and a joker card, which we've already used, but we can use it on the cathedral because we are going that far, so that could give us some strength. Don't forget we've got nine lives. If we die, it's not the end of the world. It might be the end of the world because if we die, we've probably already used our uh, Book of Shadows on whatever killed us and still failed to die. So, well, I guess there's no point using the sun card because joker card's more important. Yeah, we don't want that. All right then. <laughs> Two more floors. Very slow. People who didn't re-roll are obviously going to have a higher score, but, you know, I will mention no longer the fact that our re-roll screwed us, because I said at the time, the re-roll is because it's fun and entertaining to see where we end up. And it's not like it is completely screwed the run over. Uh, completely. It's not like it's completely screwed the run over. Um, we do still have... We can, we're still going to win. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Um, it's just not in the most entertaining. Not in a... Not in an out of control, score all the points, be number 100th in the whole world. Ludicrous style. It's going to be more in the... That's Ludicrous, not Ludacris, who... I can't just can't decide if he knows what that word means. Based on the fact he can't seem to spell it. Or <laughs> Nor is it gonna be a oh my god, I can't believe we've lost this run that was a sure thing. But that's why we re-roll. We re-roll because it was a sure thing and now it's not. The Empress is a damage upgrade. Her throw is a re-roll. Let's take her throw. Let's take Empress into the boss fight. The deal with the devil is guaranteed and will stay open. If it has an item in it that we don't want, we will take Perthrow and re-roll it. If it has an item in that we do want, then we don't need to re-roll it and we don't get a use out of Perthrow. That's fine. Ooh. That was a very good shot. I'm impressed. Uh, and then we will come back once more and take... hello. Um, the Joker card to the Cathedral where we'll get one more deal with the devil. And therefore one more item, possibly. Or at least some HP or something. More bombs. The bombs are not going to keep us alive because we spent HP. Um, which means we can now no longer take Red Heart damage. We will die immediately. On the other hand, there is obviously a super secret room here. There's obviously a shitload of. Explosive. Oh, we don't have to worry about that. 48 hour energy is very helpful because if we die. Health up. Yeah. Health up again. Nice. We'll take our Empress card. Forget what I said about HP. <laughs> obviously, we're back in the game. Um, we can explode ourselves rather than run around looking for it. Let's just do that now. Get one. We will get permanent Polaroid invincibility for um, if we take enough red heart damage to get down to that state. 
Octopus. We may not do. And then, whilst we're in permanent Polaroid events... Oh, actually. Can you heal yourself when you've got permanent Polaroid invincibility with a bomb? If you can't get hurt, can you get injured? Can you get healed by a bomb? A good question. Now we will take this. And we'll go in here and find that we would like the pact. I think. It's damage upgrade, so we'll take it. We're a Leviathan now. We'll open this. It's a spirit heart. That Leviathan thing just gave us some extra points, which is... Not extra points, extra HP, which is fantastic. I'm very up for that. Then we'll go back up here. We didn't use the Empress card. <laughs> pretend I meant to. I did mean to, but pretend I did. Let's not say we did. And we'll take this. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm not min-maxing. I'm min-maxing. It's not that I'm min-maxing, I'm just trying to get the run to be fun. It's not blowing the doors off. I'm not... You know, our shot speed is still very slow, our movement speed is still very slow. If we can get the devil to give us something amazing like this... Oh, Brother Bobby, yeah, thanks. Um, I would like to have done so. We didn't, but we will come back here, we'll take our Joker card and see what the devil gives us on the next floor. But we've re-rolled... I think things are taken out of the pool if you re-roll now. You don't have to pick them up, is what I'm saying. So there's fewer things... Oh, we should go to this library, shouldn't we? It could be fantastically amazing. There's fewer things for the devil to give us. Uh, this is good. Nothing else is. I'm going to keep Book of Shadows. Because I think that... Being invincible every so often and... Beating the crap out of everything with Sack Dag... Uh, is more valuable than my brain's gone more valuable than being able to get red hearts every so often is basically where I was going with uh, black hearts sorry every so often even though black hearts are extremely valuable obviously don't get me wrong there um I feel like the infrequency with which we'll get them does not compare to the frequency with which we will be able to get um get to use sack dagger so we'll use the joker card because I forgot we had it joker uh, we'll use this, and we'll do this. See if this thing gives us anything. Uh, the no trinket, I believe, stops us getting space for items that we don't want. Uh, contract from below is a thing, I guess. We might as well take this. Um, the reason is, one red HP is not useful. Only two red HP or more is a useful number of HP uh, at this stage of the game. Because we can't, we can't use it to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. We'd have to find an HP upgrade in order to be able to lose the one HP that we'd have to lose in order to be able to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. With me so far. However, multi-dimensional buddy is a pretty decent damage upgrade. So if we can just sort of do this <laughs> a lot. It looks like they've updated it not to be quite so uh, horrible to Two photosensitive. Nine. Photosensitive? I think that's the word. People. Um, it flashed a lot. But there was an upgrade just before I played this. Presumably, what did it? Uh, 45 minute run. Well, it's uh, obviously thanks to the. Ooh, careful. The reroll that I'm not going to mention. We're a lot slower. We didn't get to do hush. And we could have done hush with the run that we rerolled out of. Uh, but more importantly, we would have been a lot faster. So here's um, here's the end of the game. Now, I don't know, off the top of my head, whether it's possible uh, to go up. The AWAS rune that we found on a recent run allowed us to go down. Because down was possible at the point that we picked it up. I'm not sure we can go upwards with anything except the Polaroid and the run not ending. Since the run's going to end, we failed at the first, well, the second hurdle in the way that I phrased it, but we have failed to fulfil the criteria. Alas. So we're just going to do the rest of the floor, I suppose. There's a mob trap room, that can give us some few extra points. At this 
stage, I'm just going to see how well I can do having been in the situation that I am now in. And I think we will probably see that there's a big difference in points. But it was worthwhile. I always enjoy. Always in. Excuse me. Always enjoy. Um, a good reroll. You never know what's coming. You can tailor a run to be perfect. You can say, I don't want this, I will take that, etc. Which is what we did. We started off with the um, that crown thing in the jig, whose name I've forgotten, and I don't know what it. Well, we do know what it does. It gives us a bonus for not being hit. And we re rolled it into a run where we didn't seem to be able to not be hit. Case in point, right there. But. The excitement is in the. Oh yeah, we got Nord Leaf. We could actually stand perfectly still and win this. I think. We should go this way. We should do these. Let's do Isaac first. Because there's several battery charges on the ground and we don't want Bob's Rod and Head. Thank you. Several battery charges on the ground. And what we can do is we can do this. Now we've got Nord Leaf. <laughs> Bring it on, Isaac. See the power of Sack Dagger. Tears these things apart. I think we're going to just shoot Isaac now. Isaac's a difficult thing to scum up with Sacrificial Dagger because Isaac doesn't come near you. Uh, with uh, Nord Leaf specifically. The Sacrificial Dagger Nord Leaf combination works great in many places, but not on an Isaac fight because Isaac tries to keep away from you, which is probably quite smart. So it's hard to hit him with Sack Dagger. Yes. That's the point there. Beams of light trick. For people who are playing this game and come this far. You have to stand in the You cannot stand in the opposite corner from the corner it starts in. Something was given us two charges before, I'm sure of it. Maybe it was just big rooms and I hadn't noticed. You have to stand in the opposite corner to the one you started on. Let's see if we can find a super secret room. Satisfy my curiosity. Probably here. It's probably here. Hmm. Fine. Don't want to play, do we? Look. Our new rerolled run is interesting. It's fun. We've got the Leviathan transformation, which I don't necessarily understand. But we got it. We'll open this. Why not? More consumables. A few extra points. These things are like weak greeds. Uh, we got... We, uh, I don't think we had an opportunity at Guppy, which is a shame. It's always fun to have a Guppy run, but we've got Multidimensional Baby, which is no longer a seizure waiting to happen for many people. We've got some decent damage upgrades. We've done some decent dodges, like that one just now, where I didn't realise what was going on, and all of a sudden I was avoiding a head that was coming towards me. It didn't actually hit me, which is super fantastic. And then we have to figure out how to dodge. Yet to figure out a lot of things. And most of them are dodges. Like that one. <laughs> how did I do that? Um, dodges all come down to the pattern of the enemy. And predictability. That well, should be reasonably obvious, I think. It's not a... It's not a daft thing to say. It's like in geography at school and they say, you know, what's this, that and the other and you hesitate to answer and they say, say what's obvious and you say something obvious and it's the right answer but, you know, everyone in the classroom is too too afraid of sounding... If you say the obvious answer but it's wrong, you're going to sound dumb, right? It's not the sort of thing you want to have said. Louse. Don't know. But the obvious thing is, if you don't know how the enemies move or shoot, you can't dodge them. Well, that's it. We're done. Let's try and find a, a secret room here. Oh. So. There are various enemies whose patterns I don't know well enough in order to be able to dodge. I just saw a tinted rock. So we should take that as well. Nope. Well... Let's not stand around for ages looking for these damned rooms. We've got 26,000 on an Isaac fight, which is a poor performance in my opinion. It's 50 minutes Isaac fight. We've only boss rush done. 
which seems extremely uh, potent, don't you think? Towards the start of our new reroll. I thought we're going to do really well here. These big tears, they move slowly, but you know, <laughs> they penetrate. Piercing shots, they go through things, we move in reasonably slowly, but we're doing a lot of damage. Turns out we weren't. So there's those. All these people died, by the way. I think that's what that means. All the greyed out people. So they all died with slightly more points than me. And then globally, the upper echelon of scores. Yeah, there's 65, 55. These seem like the, the legit scores. I think 70 is probably a legit score if you did really, really well. But these are probably the people who didn't re-roll. But we had fun. I had fun. I enjoyed that run. It was a challenge, but doable. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday's 10,000 score ended up 14,000, 3,000 points. Again, blue baby, what are you going to do? Uh, but today's... Wait. Does blue baby look the same as Isaac? I don't even know who that was. I completely forgot to check the vignettes. Uh, but... <laughs> Maybe Reddit will tell me. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and tell your friends about this amazing new person on YouTube doing cool Isaac content. And if you didn't like it, then why did you just watch 50 minutes of it? So help a brother out, and I'll see you tomorrow.